Hey, so um, just wanted to have you guys learn from my mistakes. So every time God tells me to shut up, <laughs> like literally, He says, "Like be quiet." Like I would be, like I'm a, I'm a, I think about what I'm gonna say, the conversations I'm gonna have, and all these things beforehand, right? And so. <laughs> In my thinking, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna share this, and you know, and I already put in my mind what I expect the other person to see, and blah blah blah. And so today, and um, you know, a couple, a couple instances over the past couple of weeks, I'm there, and I'm like, I'm gonna say this, blah blah blah. And God is like, girl, be quiet, don't say anything. And I've been listening to. Um, this preacher who says everything man touches he contaminates and he literally would say like take your hands off of this stuff take your hands off like just trust God like you don't have to do anything you have to you don't have to say anything but you know little old me little little old fixer I don't know what I would be thinking I'd be disobedient and that's not what we should be because God clearly tells me don't say anything like just be quiet girl just be quiet I have got this and every time I open my mouth every time without fail it's like girl when are you gonna learn <laughs> I mean I'm laughing but I feel the, the the brunt or the blunt whatever you say the brunt of it I think that's the word I feel the consequence of it after I open my mouth and I mess things up and um I'm just here for so that you could you could learn, you know, from somebody who who who's dumb <laughs> to disobey God. The consequences is is not good, you know. You don't feel good after you disobey God because uh, sometimes it's all messed up when we we put our hands in the things that God told us He got, you know. So if God told you to do something or not to do something, especially if He said be quiet. No matter how tempted you are, just zip your lips. Like, I have to, like, I'm like, God, teach me. Teach me to be quiet. I need to be quiet. <laughs> like, my father told me the other day, like, he's like, pray for, <laughs> pray for a quiet, is that it? A quiet and peaceful spirit. And so that's my prayer right now in this season. I need to have a quiet and peaceful spirit. Because, you know, your girl... You you talk to me anyhow, I'm like, snap back, like, mm-mm, there's boundaries here, there are boundaries here, like, you don't get to speak to me like that, but like, um, this is, this is, this is my season where I have to learn to just, to know that God will defend me, and that I don't have to defend myself, and so I encourage you to, like, you know, if you're walking with God, and you're walking to please God, then the, the, um, the fight is no longer in your hands because we give it over to God and God is so capable of winning battles. And so with that being said, um, I hope it encourages you to be more obedient to God and um, not think that we have to take matters into our own hands and fight for ourselves because God is Jehovah Sabaoth. He's the one that fights our battles and he is always victorious. So have a good day. <laughs>